Hello gardening friends, welcome to Backyard Basics. You want to grow compost in your own yard? You ever heard of cover crops? The farmers use cover crops quite a bit, the organic farmer does too. And so um, this is a tremendous way to build the soil. It also uh, acts like a living mulch out there keeps the sun off of it. It stops the uh, soil from just baking. It's frequently used in the winter time. Uh, there are some crops for uh, spring and for summer, but these are some of the winter crops. And uh, most of these are legumes. And these legumes fix nitrogen directly from the air. You're getting free nitrogen out in the garden. And so, um, and that cover crop also is, like I said, compost. You're just going to turn it in. So you, uh, this is Austrian winter pea right here. It's a really nice one, easy to use. You basically broadcast it out there. You need good seed soil contact. You turn the soil a bit, and then you just broadcast it in there. It doesn't need to be in rows or added by hand. It's very simple to do. Austrian winter pea is a good looking one out in the garden, and if you're going to put it to sleep for the winter, and many people do, then um, you would use one of these cover crops. Um, here's another one called vetch. You may have heard of vetch. It's a rank grower, just a big old plant, lots of organic matter, beautiful little flowers, and uh, another one that fixes a lot of nitrogen. You know, these guys, in order to fix nitrogen, need to be inoculated. And so this inoculant that we use out here is used specifically on different kinds, actually. And this will then um, allow it to fix even more nitrogen than it would naturally. And I like this big growth that they put on. You know, here's one that's really nice. This is uh, clover, crimson clover. This is a nice little clumping plant. You can use it out in the garden. And as spring comes around, beautiful red flowers on it, just gorgeous red flowers. Some of the folks that uh, use a lot of herbs use a red clover blossom as a blood purifier. Uh, check it out some more, make sure that I'm right, but uh, it's used in that way. And so uh, this is another beautiful one to put out in the garden, fixing a lot of nitrogen in the soil, a massive amount of organic matter. Before these things really get off into their bloom cycle, um, you can cut them off and let them dry a little bit, lay on the soil, and then you work it in there. And it helps to hold that nitrogen in place and actually builds that tremendous soil of ours. Um, here's one that uh, many folks will use, this is Elbon rye. One of the benefits of Elbon is it gets to be a great big old plant, bigger than any of these, and it helps control nematodes. We have nematode problems here and there, and the Elbon rye is one that does that. You need to till it in rather quickly, though, because uh, if it gets too big, it's hard to till in. So there's some ideas for you. If you're putting your garden to uh, sleep or a portion of it during the wintertime, these are the exact plants and seeds that you might use out in your garden. For Backyard Basics, I'm John Dromgoul. I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.